Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. We are looking at the 5th grade concept of comparing and ordering decimals and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. You see on the screen I'm going to start with two decimals. We have 52.3 or 52 and 3 tenths. And then I'm using the same digits. I simply put the decimal in a different place. The number on the right is 5.23 or 5 and 23 hundredths. And it doesn't matter how far the decimal stretch out to the right, you're always going to start with the largest place value. So in this case, the largest place value is the tens place. We have a 5 in the tens place. And the number on the right doesn't even go to the tens place. It would be 0, 5 if we needed a digit in the tens place, and 5 is going to be larger than 0. And so 52.3 is going to be greater than 5.23. Doesn't really matter if it's the same digits. You're always looking at the largest place value. Let's look at another example. I have two numbers now, 3.4 and 3.29. The first number, 3 and 4 tenths. This 4 looks like it's going to be a little bit smaller than the 29 hundredths, but once again, you don't have the decimals going to the same place. So rather than trying to guesstimate this way here, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make both decimals extend to the same place. So you see my 29 goes to the hundredths place, so I need to go ahead and add something to the hundredths place. And since I have no digit there, I'm going to place a zero because 4 tenths is the same as 40 hundredths. And now that lets us know that 3.40, the 3 and 4 tenths or 40 hundredths, is going to be larger than the 3 and 29 hundredths. So when you are looking at decimals, make sure they both go to the same place. And if you need to extend your decimals, anything to the right of the decimal point, you can always put a zero to make sure they go to the same place. Here's another example. At first glance, it looks like the number on the left is going to be much larger because they both have 14 as whole numbers here, but the number on the left has 824 after the decimal. But once again, you can't really compare 824 and 84 because they don't go to the same decimal place. The 4 here goes to the thousandths place, and this 4 here only goes to the hundredths place. So you need to add another digit here so they both go to the thousandths place. And since it's blank, we can always put a zero. And now you see that the 840 thousandths is going to be larger than the 824 thousandths. So if you wanted to read this, you would say 14 and 824 thousandths is less than 14 and 840 thousandths. Now take a look at these four numbers here. Let's say you wanted to put them in order from least to greatest. So you're looking for the smallest number here. And you see this number here, this is going to be our largest number because it goes all the way to the hundreds place. So we're going to go ahead and put that over on the end because we know that's going to be our greatest number since it has a 1 in the hundreds place. But if I'm looking for the smallest number, I see that the rest of our numbers, they both go to the tens place. They all have a 1 in the tens place. So then we're looking in the ones place because you always go from left to right. And you see here that 3 is our smallest. So we're going to go ahead and write our 13 and 24 hundreds over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to write a less than. And now we're stuck with 14.3 and 14.32. Once again, let's make sure they both go to the same number of decimal places. Since the 2 here is in the hundredths place, let's put a 0 in the hundredths place. And we'll see that 14.30, or 14 and 3 tenths, is going to be slightly smaller than 14 and 32 hundredths, which uh, obviously is going to be smaller than 143 and 2 tenths. And now it's time for you to practice. Go ahead and get out a pencil and paper, pause the video, and take a look at these three problems. Compare them with either a less than, greater than, or an equal sign. When you have your answers, start the video back up. Checking our answers, this first one should be pretty simple. This first number has a 4 in the tens place. The second number doesn't have any digit in the tens place. 41 is greater than 4. You don't even need to look at the decimals. The second numbers, you will need to look at the decimals because they both have 14 as whole numbers here. Even though the 796 might look large, always make sure they both go to the same place value. And you make a 0 here in the thousandths place, and you see that 810 is going to be greater than 796. It's the 8 in the tenths place that makes it larger. The last number is a trick. 3 and 24 hundredths is actually going to be equal to 3 and 240 thousandths because you always need to make them go to the same place value. You put that zero there, you see they are equal.